Hello humans, welcome to Alien Skills Hacking University. Today we will learn about computer networks. What is a computer network? In the simplest term, a computer network is a group of computers connected with each other. Let's say I have one computer here, another here, and the third one here. These are independent computers and can all communicate with each other. If we connect these three computers together, it's called a computer network. Let me connect it. Here we go. Now these three computers are connected together and can communicate with each other. This linking can be made through an Ethernet cable or radio waves commonly called Wi-Fi. Well, that's a quick basic. Let me show you a simple home network. I have my computer here. This is my tablet. Here is my smartphone. Of course my Xbox here. My CCTV security camera here. And my smart TV. These are basically six nodes in my home. A node is nothing but a device on the network. These six devices are sitting at six different places and are not connected to each other. So, for connecting all these devices and make them communicate with each other or to access the internet, we'll use a device called a router. So, here will be my router. Now, my tablet will connect to my router through the Wi Fi. My CCTV camera is connected to my router through a long Ethernet cable from my pause. My smartphone is, of course, connected through Wi Fi. My router sits near my TV, so I connect my smart TV to the router with an Ethernet cable. My laptop is connected to the router through the Wi-Fi. And my Xbox, which is in my bedroom, is connected to the router through Wi-Fi. Now, as you can see, all the devices or nodes are connected to the router and can communicate with each other. So, I was watching my favorite music video on my tablet. My friends came home and they wanted to watch it too. What to do now? It doesn't feel good to give the tablet to each of my friends. Oh wait, I can just send the music video to my TV as everything is connected now. The tablet will send the music video to the router which in turn will send it to the TV. Now all my friends can watch. That is the advantage of connected devices. I just watched some content on my tablet on my TV. But that's not enough, is it? What if you want to watch some content on YouTube? What if you want to watch Alien Skills tutorials? I upload all my tutorials on YouTube and YouTube servers are installed outside your home network, maybe halfway around the other side of the globe. So if you want to watch my YouTube videos, you have to connect your router to the internet. Here we go. Now all your devices can access internet too. For the communication between the devices to be made possible, we need to know the address of the device to which we are communicating with. You want to send a holiday postcard to your cousins or friends, you got to know their address to which you have to send it to. You will write the address and send it to the post office which will then forward it to the correct address. It's the case here also. Every device connected to the router will have one address assigned to it so that the other devices can communicate with them. That address is called the IP address. Let's say my laptop is assigned the IP address 192.168.0.2 My laptop has 192.168.0.3 My smartphone has 192.168.0.4 My smart TV 192.168.0.5 the CCTV camera 192.168.06 and my Xbox 192.168.07. The router will have an IP2, let's say 192.168.0.1. This IP which starts with 192 is internal or local IPs. This will be the address used by the devices to communicate with each other inside your home network. 
we have one public IP here 2165819778 which will be the address the internet service providers will assign you. All the websites can see this IP of yours unless you use a proxy. I will teach about proxy in the coming tutorials. So your local IPs have scope within your network only. Your friend's home network also can have the same IPs. But your public IP is unique around the world. I hope you got some basic understanding of what is a computer network and how different devices in a network communicate with each other. We will see you in the next tutorial. Bye. This channel is launched just now, so I will be uploading more and more tutorials very frequently. If you don't want to miss those tutorials, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Clicking the bell icon is really important as it will help YouTube to show notifications when I upload new tutorials. This will help you to stay updated with the channel.